Here's a case that came in with tooth number 15 super erupted because there was no opposing to meet it. Now the doctor wants to put an implant in the opposing tooth area, but before they do that, they want to intrude tooth number 15 so that it's in line with the rest of the teeth along the occlusal plane. They wanted a removable appliance. So what I came up with was a modified retainer and I put a spring in there. This is the 032 Beta 3 titanium wire. I wanted it to be nice and strong yet resilient. It needed some good resiliency because this is a removable appliance. I didn't want the spring to be so strong that it would dislodge the appliance. Here's the work model. We'll put it on here. Now I wanted the arm of the spring to be long enough that it did have that resiliency. If I put the helix out here and had the spring come out of the distal part of the acrylic, there wouldn't be much arm on the spring and it wouldn't have good mechanics. So I wanted it back here, but I didn't want to cut the acrylic in some odd shape and have to you know, bend these anchor bends of the Adams clasp in some odd shape so that the distal of the acrylic would be right here. So I thought I would just lay the spring on top of the acrylic. So what I did was I made the retainer first and then I finished it and then bent the spring so that it would lay right on top then I cut a trough for the anchor bends, put them in there, mixed up some extra acrylic, put it in there, and then finished that. Now ideally, I'd like to have a helix over on this side, have this titanium wire be a continuous wire that goes around with a helix on both sides so you have the mousetrap spring action, but I couldn't figure out a good way to attach it to the buckle components over here since you can't solder or weld titanium. So I just did the one side. Now, I also, I uh, crossed the entire occlusal surface with the spring wire. I did that so that the tooth could be pushed down evenly on both sides. If I just had the spring lap over on the lingual side and stopped right there, it would be pushing down on the lingual side only, and it could have a chance of tilting the tooth as it went down. So to avoid that, I put it over the entire occlusal surface. All right, there you have it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.